Alright guys, um, as I said, I was going to give you all an update on some of my plants, and as I told you all last night, some of them did not make it, but I'm actually surprised a lot did. Um, as you can see, these are my habaneros, and they did start flowering, but they're not producing fruit. For some reason, this season has not been a good season for uh, super hot, such as habaneros and jalokias. So, if you're wondering what the, why there's a bare spot here, I actually had to separate some of my habaneros. And I'll show that to you in just a minute, but here are my cayennes, and I'll be honest with you, man, I'm, I'm actually enjoying the fact that these uh, are actually coming out pretty good. They're, uh, they're green, they're nice, you know, I actually had a couple that I was actually happy to harvest, and, uh, Right here, these are my paprikas, or the Hungarian hot wax peppers. Uh, I can't tell uh, what color they're supposed to be when they're ripe, but you can see that they're coming in. They're coming in nice and good. They got a nice little green hue to it. Uh, gotta love magnesium sulfate, or whatever it is. Uh, Epsom salt. There we go. And this... These are the last two remaining surviving plants I had of my uh, Butt Chilokias, or Ghost Chili. Maybe if I can get a closer look, you can see that there's at least some flowering going on right now. There's some flowering going on, and I'm hoping to have a some. I'm hoping to have some fruits before the before the fall season. You know, before. Uh, late October, early November. Uh, that's all I'm hoping right now. Um, I'm actually doing the four week uh, ghost chili challenge right here. I don't know if you can see it. I can't see anything because of the sunlight and because of the protective screen on my iPod. I'm actually kind of pissed off because this actually fell and some sand came out. I should have been paying more attention. Uh, I went to Charlotte a while back and I ended up getting a, from a friend of mine this right here which is a basil or basil however you pronounce it I just say basil because Michael York Austin Powers woohoo hello Austin and this right here of course is rosemary has a great smell to it um, I ended up getting another cayenne bush and it's actually producing some very good fruits you can see right here you know all I know is I'm going to be pretty stocked with cayennes, and that's pretty cool. And here's the uh, separated, you know, here's the separated habanero plants from the other uh, pot that I showed you. And you can see right now that it, it too, is starting to flower. See, right around here. And this right here, apparently. I don't believe it, but I have yet to eat one. Oh. Hold on just a second. There we go. This plant right here is supposed to be a scotch bonnet. And I'm actually anxious to try one of those out as well. And as I said, let's go back to the uh, pride and joy of this. This is the ghost chili plant. I actually ended up taking a few leaves off. There's some spots I know. Um, I, like I said, I just did some trimming, and there's some new leaves coming in, and there are some flowers. So, yeah, here's uh, my so-called garden. I'll actually do a good, better right here. There's the habaneros and the cayennes, the Hungarian hot wax or the paprikas, basically, the bujalokias. The cayenne, scotch bonnet, and habaneros, and my other ones. So, yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed watching this. And before I forget, I uh, will be, I will be probably more than likely eating a scotch bonnet before a uh, butchalokia because I've been seeing a lot of the videos and. <laughs> A lot of people passing out and shit, and that's uh, <laughs> kind of makes me a little bit more nervous, especially since the pods are supposedly hotter. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to test myself a little bit and maybe 
if I do not have time to try one with some food, I like to mix hot peppers with food. I like to make uh, hot burgers, basically. <laughs> I'm going to probably attempt to eat a scotch bonnet probably sometime within the week. I'm not going to the gym. I'm strapped for cash. So anyway, uh, bef once again, before I eat a butt jalokia or ghost chili, I'm going to attempt to eat a scotch bonnet or scotch bonnet from my garden. Uh, I do have a ripe one, but I'm going to wait until these ripen. So it'll probably be another week or two before those ripen unless I don't have the time. Anyway, um, this is uh, That Pepper Dude. I'm James, and one more look at the garden. All right, guys. Hope you all enjoyed.